Rubrics can be an important addition to any assignment, as they can help students understand what is expected of them. In the following screencast, we'll explore how to create a rubric within Canvas and attach it to an assignment. To begin, we're going to start um, by making sure that we're in the appropriate course. In this case, I'm in my sandbox just to experiment with rubrics. Um, and then we're going to go ahead in the course and go to the Outcomes tool in Canvas. You'll notice on the top right of the screen there's a button called Manage Rubrics, and that's where we're going to go ahead and set up our first rubric. So I'm going to go ahead and select Manage Rubrics, and you'll notice that um, I have one rubric in my course, but I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch. I'm going to start by creating a rubric that mimics uh, a rubric that I used to print out uh, from a Microsoft Word document and then um, hand complete. One of the strengths of Canvas is the ability to attach rubrics um, and then use speed, speed grader um, to quickly and efficiently provide robust feedback uh, to students. So in this case, this is my short writing assignment rubric. And so I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that into the title. And then you'll notice that um, uh, located in my uh, rubric, it starts with a generic uh, a two-point rating system or two-column rating system with a very uh, generic description of criterion. So what I'm going to do is I notice that I have one, two, three columns and I can go ahead and add columns a couple ways. One of the ways I can do it is by just selecting uh, this uh, double arrow. Now you'll notice I have one, two, three. Again, it's generic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the uh, rating titles. Instead of full marks, I'm going to go ahead and change it to proficient. And then I'm going to do the same thing for uh, rating description, which is uh, set as merging. And then finally, no marks, I'm going to go ahead and say is beginning. And you'll notice that um, this particular rubric uses a point-based rubric system, a 530. Um, and so uh, you'll notice that the uh, criterion uh, exemplifies that. But if, let's say, for example, I decided beginning actually uh, gets one point, um, I can easily uh, change that as well. Uh, and then what I need to do is I need to start creating my criterion descriptions. Uh, so you'll notice that Unity is uh, one criterion. My second criterion is Evidence and Development. My third criteria is Presentation, so on and so forth. Um, but one thing you'll notice is that uh, that my rubric um, only shows uh, very basic um, very basic information. And so um, I'll notice that under the criteria, I can create a longer description. And you'll notice that instead of just using a set of standards, I have organized uh, the uh, criteria based on trying to describe what each um, criterion standard uh, exemplifies. So proficient um, is where the thesis statement uh, with paragraph is organized around the main idea. Uh, emergency, merging is thesis statement is loosely related to paragraphs. And then finally Beginning is that there is no thesis statement. Um, paragraphs are distinct entities with no discernible relationship. And so um, by doing so, um, I can go ahead and when my students um, are trying to understand why they've gotten a particular rating, um, they'll have a chance to uh, see that. As I finish my criteria, you'll notice that uh, I'll need that, unfortunately, I have to put that same criteria. Um, each and every time and I need to uh, expand that criteria just like I did before um, and so setting up a rubric for the first time uh, arguably can be time-consuming um, but what you'll notice is that you can attach the same rubric to as many different assignments as you so choose so if you have a rubric that students are continually coming back to rubrics can be a really helpful tool 
um, and having students see progress over time, especially in relation to the learning mastery and outcomes tool in Canvas. Uh, I would go ahead and finish out my rubric here, and then eventually I go ahead and create my rubric. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause uh, so you don't have to watch that part, um, and then I'll go ahead and finish it up. So as you can see that I've uh, finished completing uh, my rubric, uh, which totals th uh, 35 points, because you can have a total of up to five points for each of these categories. And you'll notice that in each of the long descriptions, I've also explicated on what proficient, emergent, and beginning uh, means. Once I'm ready, I would simply go ahead and create rubric. Once I do so, you'll notice that um, I now have a rubric that I can use for any assignment going forward. So arguably, yes, it's a little bit time consuming. It probably took me a total of uh, seven to eight minutes to recreate an existing rubric I had. But um, I plan to reuse it for every short writing assignment throughout the course of the year.